Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what is going on. Remember, this can be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you would like a personal read, the details are in my description box for my channel, and you can email me at aceofpepsira at yahoo.com. Hmm. Let's see if anything else comes out before I read those. So I only had two that came out when your butthole's super itchy and you fart hard enough to scratch it. When you get to work on Monday morning and your boss is still alive in the reverse. Ooh. Someone's itching. <laughs> someone, someone has an itch they want to scratch and someone's not happy about someone still being alive. <clears throat> someone could also be happy that you are still alive. Something was meant to take you out out of this world, the living, the land of the living. Somebody may um, be itching to come towards you and speak about the knowledge of somebody still being alive. Or somebody's upset that you are still alive because something was meant to take you out. They could have sent you a message, been using technology to see if you're still alive. They could have sent you like a DM or, you know, an instant message, something like that. Someone was trying to find out if you're still alive because something was meant to take you out. And possibly overnight or in the nighttime. And so somebody wanted to check to see if you're still alive. And they couldn't um, fight the urge to check. So they sent you a message to see if you would respond. And they're not happy. Or someone's not happy. Baseball cap. Pocket eye exam. Someone thought they had someone in their pocket. So someone has someone in their pocket. They could have paid someone to do this out of pocket. I'm seeing money being exchanged. Somebody was paid to come towards you and attack you um, and not just attack you um, unalive you. They were trying to keep this hidden. Um, you, They could feel like you broke their heart or they wanted to break someone's heart. Man. <clears throat> this got heavy real fast. They were trying to keep it hidden. That they paid someone. They, they've been wanting to communicate with you. You could have ignored them. Um, you know, they something was heartbreaking. They could have caused you heartbreak in the past. This could have been somebody that you were attached to. Like in a romantic relationship. Doesn't have to be, but it could be. Somebody feels like a situation was not called fairly or that they were being treated unfairly. Unfairly, This could have been you. So this person could have treated you unfairly, so you left and, um, I don't know, they wanted to hurt you. Maybe you knew that they were trying to hurt you. <clears throat> they were trying to keep it hidden. Someone's trying to keep it hidden that they're throwing a shit fit, that they're throwing a temper tantrum. They were watching you online. They don't like what you're doing. They're upset. Someone is mad. Like that you're showing up on their timeline, that you're still breathing, that they're being reminded of you, seeing pictures of you. Someone's trying to come around. Someone's trying to hula hoop. Someone's trying to bring something back, circle back. They see you being healthy. You could be sleeping, drinking your water, exercising. You could be taking care of yourself. Someone's doing the math, how much money you have. You're getting ready. You're getting ready for something. You're taking care of yourself. You're in, Someone's mad. Someone's trying to figure out how much money it would take to put you in bad health. They're trying they're trying to figure out how you're in good health because of what they did to you. They could have tried to use um I don't know, I'm hearing carbon monoxide. 
They could have tried to use some like a gas leak or something to try to take you out and you survive the night. I don't know some some people um, have they some people claim it's not true, but some people have the ability to smell chemicals and gas in the air even if other people can't. Maybe you smelled something, maybe you opened a window, a door, something, I don't know. Something was meant to take you out. Someone's trying to figure out how you're still breathing, how you're still healthy. Um, I feel like they're going to have to ultimately admit that <laughs> you could be immortal. Um, they don't want to believe it. They don't want to believe that you're an angel or something or that they can't take you out. Maybe they're a professional. <clears throat> Whatever they did, it would have... Um, killed somebody else you know like it somebody uh whatever they did it was um deadly very deadly and i'm getting something with gases or chemicals a chemical spill could be significant or the release of some sort of gas or a leaking pipe someone may need to get carbon monoxide uh detectors this is crazy I think my dad's gone crazy. Someone's dad could be significant. This could be a father figure. Somebody you have children with could have paid someone to do this, or this person just has children. Um, they're not jumping up and down. They're not happy. Someone's really not happy. This person is ice cold, and you narrowly escaped something like. You could be ice cold to them. You could be cold to them. You know, um, you could be in your king or queen of swords energy. You know, you're on the path, the straight and narrow path. You're not giving anyone any give. Like, whatever you're doing, you're walking your path. Um, so you come across as cold. Or someone wants you to be cold, left out in the cold. You're escaping something. And someone feels like you barely escaped something. Or you literally did barely escape something. Um your life with your life you barely escaped something with your life because you heal you're healed you're a healer or you're, yeah that came out sideways so this is now this is current now near future energy you healed you heal your body is healing at um <clears throat> an accelerated rate possibly or they can't take you out because you heal yourself. You're protected. You're a divine being. And so the world needs you here. So you have divine protection. Someone's trying to trick you. <clears throat> Someone feels like something is a trick. Like something is not as it appears. Someone feels like you're trying to trick them. You're being still. You're being calm. Aquarius could be significant. Someone feels like you being calm and being still and you being a healer is a trick. Someone feels like you're being deceptive and they want to prove that you're a liar. They're, someone can't rest. They're not at peace. Someone is not at peace because of how calm you are, how still you are, how healed you are, how you're alive. <laughs> like literally how you are alive. This is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Someone can't rest until they prove, like, till they disrupt your peace, till they prove that you're a, that, it's like they want to prove that you're a human or something. Air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be significant, so that's double confirmation on Aquarius here. Someone's not protected, a lost loved one watches over you in the reverse, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, so somebody does not have the same protection that you do. Something could have happened to them to cause them some sort of health issues or damage. And so they could have been trying to create this for you or do something. So whatever they did, something could be backfiring on this person because they don't have protection. They're not, they're not protected. They don't have a guardian angel watching over them. I just heard demons are watching and it's not even, they're not watching over them. They, 
They interacted with some sort of demon or deity. Damn, they were doing... Oh, somebody was doing death spells on you on top of this shit. Oh, wow. That's why they can't rest. They're not at peace. Because you survived. Wow. And Earth sign is in the reverse. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn did this to a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Wow. And they're not protected. They're scared. If they're not, they should be. <sighs> so someone may have thought that because you didn't communicate with them or some there was some sort of communication or a lack of communication, somebody was expecting to receive communication Possibly that um, you're no longer alive. So, like I said, somebody could have been paid off to do this. And so somebody was expecting to hear some good news for them, not for you. But um, they didn't hear the message or communication. They didn't get what they thought they were going to get. <clears throat> There's a Queen of Wands here in the reverse that was expecting some sort of communication. So somebody that was not caring or compassionate, was waiting on confirmation of something. So this could have been somebody who was paid to watch or spy or that was expecting to gain something from you not being unalive. This person could hold a position of authority or power, but they don't deserve to be in that. This is somebody who would abuse their power if they were in a position of power. This is somebody who did abuse their power. They were waiting on communication that the job was complete or the job was done. So maybe you wouldn't leave or you were a pain in the neck to somebody because they couldn't rob you or steal from you or something here. And so they paid someone to come towards you to take you out because um, they're trying to cover up some illegal activities they're doing. They don't want to be exposed. That's why they could be in fear. They were waiting on this communication that the job was done. Yeah, because they were trying to keep something hidden. Secrets are being exposed. What was done in darkness is being brought to light here. Scorpio, death. They wanted death for you. But you're a star. <laughs> so this person wished death upon you. And, you know, I've been doing readings where someone may hire a, pr a practitioner or something. And, um, I don't know. This person hired someone. You're divinely protected. You're being set free from something. <clears throat> this could be a judgment going in your favor as well. Something going in your favor or speaking some sort of truth. King of Swords. Someone who appears cold-hearted. Um, they could be emotionally detached. They could be going to jail because of your divine protection. So this could be the person that they sent towards you to unalive you. <clears throat> this King of Swords could be going to prison. They're bound. They can't get out of this. That is who this Queen of Wands was working with. So there was a Queen of Wands here that is working with this King of Swords. Somebody was jealous, spiteful. There could have been two females that were working against you. One could have been spiteful, jealous, envious of you. This could have been a karmic female that's connected to somebody you could have been in a relationship with, whatever. They had a buddy in a position that offered you some sort of contract or deal. This could be a um, land contract, real estate, something like that. There's some sort of business. There's something related to a business with this Queen of Wands here. She's connected to some sort of business. And this this female who's connected to some business that um, does some shady practices is connected to a jealous-ass feminine who's emotionally unstable. This female could have paid this other female to do something to you. And, um, or it's like, you know, they call up this one person and they're like, hey, do you know a guy who, you know a guy who, well, both of these female energies could have contracted this king of swords or somebody who was cold-hearted to take this action towards you because you have ace of pentacles coming to you um you have a new start or a new beginning coming to you you could be moving they tried to do this before you could move or travel or enter into a relationship because someone was only obsessed with money somebody couldn't stop thinking about money 
So there's these two females who wanted this this Ace of Pentacles, and it could be an inheritance, a large lump sum of money. So they tried to take it from you. They could have been expecting that if you were not alive, that um, they were going to get this money from you. Somebody was not compassionate. They didn't want to offer you your flowers. Um, one of these could have been a parental figure, like a mother figure, who was not caring and compassionate. They only cared about money. Or they could just be, you know, um, a parent or... You could be someone's child. They could be someone's child. Man. Once again, someone was waiting on some sort of communication. There was some sort of communication or someone was expecting some sort of communication. But these karmics got the message that whatever seeds they planted, they didn't grow. So someone was expecting to get some money. That's why they were waiting to hear that something was complete, something was over, so that they could get the green light to get this money or whatever this is, this Ace of Pentacles is. <clears throat> but something has stopped. They didn't get the green light. They got the red light. Stop. Something has stopped. Something is over. They're not getting this. They're not getting the, what they've been waiting for. They could have worked really hard to do this. You have options. Somebody has options. Because something is over, Ten of Swords, permanent ending here. Because they brought a tower moment to themselves. They were hiding their inner personality. They they brought some events upon themselves that are out of everyone's control at this point. Because they did a lot of crazy shit. You walked away from someone that caused you heartbreak. Because they were placing heavy burdens on you, trying to stop you from moving forward. So somebody was intentionally causing you heartbreak, trying to keep you stuck. Somebody that wanted to date you or possibly that you dated was not respectable. They were not held in high honor. One of these females or this masculine, one of these people could be somebody you were in a relationship with or dated. They felt heartbroken. You could have been a parent, like you could have children and somebody was not compassionate towards you or somebody just didn't offer you your flowers. Somebody was just, somebody only cared about money. They only cared about what they could get from you, what they could take. And then there, there's these two shady ass females here as well. Yeah, so there's a there's a King of Cups energy here in the reverse. The challenge is that something is moving for you. So someone's emotionally unbalanced, unstable, because something someone's losing their shit because something is moving forward in your favor and you have options available. And, the time ran out for them to do this. They celebrated having a victory too soon. They underestimated, excuse me, your strength. Leo could be significant. The Wheel of Fortune has turned. The, you are on the right side of the Wheel of Fortune here. Options are opening up for you. Yeah, someone made a bad decision here. Someone made a bad decision. They made a decision and that it put them on the wrong side of the Wheel of Fortune. So if someone here thought the Wheel of Fortune was on their side, it has shifted because of whatever decision they made. When they were faced with a decision, when the Wheel of Fortune comes up, you're faced with a decision that's going to take you up higher on the wheel or let you fall. Someone made a bad decision. There's a partnership here, an emotional situation with the Queen of Wands. So somebody wants to partner up with this Queen of Wands. They partnered up with, okay, so the, either the Queen of Cups or the King of Swords is in a relationship with this Queen of Wands. So somebody that you may have been in a relationship with partnered up with them. This Queen of Wands made a decision to split up a family or break up. Something was not a Ten of Cups situation. So someone made a decision to walk away from a family or a happy home, something like that, or 
Um, they walked away from something because it was not a happy situation and they hooked up. They're in a relationship with this Queen of Wands. And this Queen of Wands could be spending a lot of time in her emotions. They're upset because um, you're still alive and they're very jealous and envious of you. So the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups could ultimately be the same person. So this Queen of Wands could want to partner up with somebody that you were in a relationship with, but there's a barrier in this person's path because of this tower moment, because of a divine partnership. So you could have a soul contract or something with this person that was meant to take you out or something. I don't know what's going on. Or some sort of secret is exposed. So there could be a barrier placed here. That brought a tower moment because what was done in darkness is being brought to light. And it could be being exposed that these people are together in a relationship. So that's another thing. The secret's being exposed that they were hiding a relationship the whole time. Yeah, the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Permanent ending here. Ten of Swords. What the hell's going on here? This could be two different feminines. Someone walked away. There was a permanent ending. This King of Swords could have been with a Queen of Cups and walked away from them to hook up with the Queen of Wands here. But I still feel like the person who's in the upright isn't any of these energies. So there's a cat fight going on from some, what is this, like two females fighting over one of your dusty ass exes and they're jealous of you so they tried to take you out? I mean, there was a ten of swords for a jealous ass queen of cups somewhere along the line. So somebody walked away from a queen of cups to end up with a queen of wands. Someone was not an official person. So someone is the hierophant in the reverse. They were a false teacher, advisor, whatever. <sighs> There's some communication going on or a message here about somebody traveling to betray another person and they don't have a positive outcome. Jeez. What is this? The karmic cat fight of the century over a, a masculine who's like a hitman or something? What the... Oh, maybe this doesn't have anything to do with you. I don't know why this would be coming up in your energy. I don't know what this has to do with you. Maybe this is going on with someone that you're connected to or someone in your family. I don't know. Let's see what... I don't know. I'm just getting like cat fight energy. Someone's going to be getting some communi communication about somebody wanting to offer some flowers, being compassionate. After somebody betrayed another person. Oh, one of these karmic females could be exposing something. It's like they're snitching on each other or something. I don't know, man. That's because you're the queen of cups in the upright. craziness going on. <clears throat> so there's a masculine energy here, an emperor who wants to be compassionate to a queen of cups. There's a masculine energy here, the king of pentacles in the reverse. Gold digger energy, someone who's not good with money or budgeting, whatever. Who had a third party situation going on. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> maybe you are the Queen of Cups. I don't know. This person, I don't know, there's some shady shit going on here. So this gold digger here, this, this King of Pentacles in the reverse, chose a Queen of Wands over a Queen of Cups. 
there's a death, there's a rebirth, there's a transformation. They want to come to you and tell you they've transformed, that things are different now, things have changed. <sighs> Someone lied. They sent a message, a lion ass message. Page of page of swords. There was a third party communication. So there was a third party here. Somebody that worked with the King of Pentacles. And they lied. What the ever-loving hell is going on here? <clears throat> there's a group of people, man. Th this is a group. Like, there's a group of people here that's doing something. It's like, what the hell are they doing? Swapping lovers or something? I don't know, man. So somebody, this King of Pentacles, okay, had a third party. They lied to, to get them to work with them, to cause a financial imbalance. This transformation is going to bring someone financial stability because someone brought a tower moment upon themselves and justice is going to be balanced out. Libra energy, something is being balanced out. So an emperor... What the hell, man? I'm just like so. What the hell? Maybe it's two sets of people. <clears throat> I don't know. There could be two couples, two groups. I don't know. Let's get. I don't know. I'm just kind of blown away right now. There's just a lot. This is just a really crazy situation. <clears throat> All right, I'm not getting anything else out of here, so let's let's come go to my office cards. Yeah, somebody was confident. Someone was a pompous ass. They were expecting to get some sort of communication or make some sort of communication. Someone was waiting on communication. They were confident that something was going to work out in their favor. So this gold digger energy. So there was a lot of people working together to do something kind of awful. So this gold, they could have sent a gold digger in here. Okay. <clears throat> they sent someone in. To the Queen of Cups in the upright, whoever a feminine energy is who is actually in the upright here. Um, you know, you've had a lot of people trying to take you out in different ways. Uh, but they sent in a gold digger energy to affect your finances and drain you financially. To try to get some sort of money from you. Possibly make you a love offer. Uh, possibly they were supposed to offer you marriage or be compassionate to you. But they ended up choosing a skanko, the Queen of Wands, over you. So they created, they did create a financial imbalance here, but then something else was supposed to happen to take you out and they were waiting on a phone call. Somebody was expecting to hear that you were not here. You're just doing your job, minding your business. Or someone's just doing their job. So someone someone could have been expecting a phone call from somebody who was a hired hitman who was just doing their job. Um, and the fact that you're a healer or you're able to heal yourself, that you're a divine being, you know, you're the star in the upright. You're just doing what you're supposed to do. And somebody was being immature. You're so immature. So, you know, with the spiritual aspect of things, somebody was... Um, very full of themselves and conceited and very immature in how they were acting or how they were doing something. This immature person could have been the, the queen of wands in the reverse as well. Somebody who is very jealous. Yeah. 
someone is very pissed. Butt lickers, butt lickers, our prices have never been lower. Someone's pissed that you're just doing what you're supposed to be doing. They are pissed about your protection or your abilities that you know what they're doing before they do it or that you can see through their attempts on your life. I mean, this is just... It's like every time they try something, you, you cut them off at the head. It's like you know what they're going to do before they even do it. Or even if they try something, it's like you're alerted by your spiritual team to take some sort of action that puts you under like strict protection, like lockdown energy. like your spiritual team locks your ass up and it's like they protect it's almost like they put you in protective custody or something this could have something to do with your work or somebody working with another person so there could be a situation or an altercation regarding somebody's work like this could be what you do for work you could be a spiritualist or something i don't know your gifts your talents this has something to do with your legacy, your, you know, your life's calling, whatever you're meant to be doing. And somebody feels like it's a trick, like you're full of shit, and it's not. So they keep testing you and tempting you and, like, trying to rip you off, steal from you, unalive you. And it's like they just keep trying different things. Hangman energy. Something is frozen. Something is stuck. Someone's trying to place barriers in your path. But when they do this stuff... Whenever they take some sort of action towards you, it's like everything stops and it gets stuck and they can't, they can't move forward or they can't take some sort of action. So whenever they come towards you to take some sort of action regarding your work, it's like they're stopped dead in their tracks and they can't move forward. It's like an invisible barrier that gets placed in front of them. It's like you're cloaked or shielded. <clears throat> so somebody was watching at home. There could have been something significant about a farm or something like that. But somebody was watching someone's property. They acted like they were helping. Or somebody could have... Um, Maybe someone that lived on a farm or farm animals could be significant. Someone acted like they were helping another person here or they were not helpful. Um, you know, this person could have acted like they wanted to be in a relationship with you so that they could watch you and get close to you. So this could be like that hitman energy who was paid to come towards you. So while there's like this stupid ass cat fight going on behind the scenes, um, you know, this person could have been married or something, and there's like these two karmics that are going at it and fighting over this masculine, but they were paid to come towards you. One of these jealous-ass females could have been um, a relative of yours or something, but someone's keeping a secret, their identity hidden, or they're keeping something secret. Something is being disguised. <clears throat> That they were watching you to cause things your, to go wrong for you. That they were trying to watch you to figure out how to end you. This is the cemetery in the reverse. Someone came towards you to be in a relationship with you to take you out. To unalive you. And now someone's pissed. They're back to the drawing board. They're thinking. They wanted you in poverty out on the street. So they thought if you were out on the streets and no one cared about you and like that maybe you were homeless or begging, um, that they could have a better chance of like making you disappear or be unalive, that they could force you into contacting them or reaching out to them or communicating with them. They were expecting some sort of communication, possibly that you would contact them and ask for their help so that they would have another shot at unaliving you because they can't get close enough to you to do this. So that's why in earlier in this reading, I feel like someone is using um, different tactics. They're trying to approach something from a different way. Um, they changed it up so they could have tried to affect you with like mold or gas, like carbon monoxide, like a gas leak or, um, you know, causing some sort of damage. Um, they're trying to make it look like an accident, whatever this is. Um, so when you were with this person, they could have been some, putting something in your food or drink to poison you and you healed. Every time they do something, 
somehow you escape the fate that they want you to experience and they're pissed off and they keep thinking they keep thinking and it's like they're trying to prove to themselves that they can accomplish this but I don't know some somebody was paid to do some crazy shit I don't know man this, this is just nuts yeah someone's currently pissed like right now you were not supposed to wake up today I don't know who the hell are these females that are fighting over this man I mean do they even know what they he, they do for work I mean is this part of like a mob deal or something I don't know And I don't know what they have to do with you. Unless they just tried to set you up for to be robbed or, you know, you know, it could just be all about money. That could be why they're just connected to you is because they're just connected because they want money. But it's like they're jealous and envious of each other. They're fighting. There's two females that are like going at it over this masculine. They're wanting to know when this shit's over and done with. And someone just doesn't care or whatever. Like someone's you're, someone's unbothered. They're upset because they can't bother you. Someone's lusting. Someone could be intoxicated under the influence. <clears throat> someone's pissed because they tried to drug you as well. This person was a liar. They could have left you out in the cold. You know, somebody didn't take care of you. They thought you had your hand out or someone had their hand out. You knew that someone was expecting someone. They were not caring or compassionate. They didn't take care of you. You knew that they just had their hand out and that they were going to kick you to the curb the first chance they got. Whether it's you or somebody else. Someone was a liar. Someone got kicked to the curb. Someone didn't take care of someone that they promised to. Someone is disgusted. Absolutely disgusted. Over someone's obnoxious behavior, their drunken stupor. I mean, there's just all kinds of fighting going on. Yeah, someone was lusting after someone. That This must be what this cat fight's about. Someone was lusting after someone because they thought someone was a superhero. They had their hand out. <clears throat> Maybe they needed a place to stay, a place to go. And someone lied about helping them out. So someone needed somewhere to go. Someone could have helped them out, but it was just to rob them. They could have pretended to be in a relationship. So it's like, okay, well, you come stay with me. I'll take care of you. And then they tried to rob them, take all their shit, throw them out on the curb. They ended up going to possibly a property or somewhere, um, a rental that somebody recommended. Um, come to find out that it could be connected to one of these females that are fighting over this masculine. Um, or fighting with each other. I don't know, but... Um, one of these females owns a business or is connected to a business in some sort of way that is connected to you. So it's like they're trying to hit you financially with your life. It's like they're trying to gain access to you any every way possible. One of these females could have been somebody that you worked with. Or that once again pretended to help you or offered some sort of help but really wasn't trying to help you. Someone's getting released from jail. This could be someone getting released from a physical jail, mental jail. Something happened in the last three to six months. Someone's busy multitasking. So you're busy. Someone's busy. If it's not you, someone is busy multitasking, trying to get released from some sort of negative situation. Someone's spell work backfired in the last three to six months. Um, their death spells, their death magic, their health. Yeah, someone's using legit spell work or dark magic. It backfired their death spells because you walked away from this person walk away now ran away you you ran away from them you walked away from them you could be receiving unexpected help or someone's going to be receiving unexpected help or you just get unexpected help from the divine it doesn't have to be a physical person they said they were single to get you they lied masculine gets around okay so i don't know like not only are they up to some shady shit like when it comes to like offing people and unaliving them they deal with a multitude of females like 
there's three female energies I'm getting here and two of them are like fighting over this person and you know this person's very narcissistic they don't really form emotional attachments one way or the other um, you know they just use whoever for whatever purpose they can serve and then we have this divine feminine whose instincts are on point and these there's going to be charges filed against at least somebody whether it's all of these people or some of them pay attention to your dreams someone needs to heal their childhood wounds looks like all these crazy ass people needs to heal their childhood wounds Somebody needed to move on. You did move on. So you moved on from whatever this is. And that's why they keep attacking you. And that's why they don't have access to you. You moved on. You healed. You do heal your wounds. You've done the shadow work. That's why you have divine protection. Someone was married. One of these females could have been married to this masculine. They could have stayed married or just been separated or something. Someone's your false twin. This person's very toxic. You learned your lessons. They want you to call them so they can laugh at your problems and sabotage you. Like I said, this person was married um, or somebody was engaged. Marriage is like a dress park and invitation. So somebody could have been like invited, engaged or something. Um, they could have asked you to marry them, you know, because they were meant to be in a relationship with you and on a live you to get your shit. <clears throat> Don't believe what you hear. Sabotage. So someone can't believe what they're hearing about someone trying to sabotage you or they don't want to believe it. Somebody doesn't want to believe the absolute truth that's right in front of them. Like, no, this person would never do that or this person would never. Yeah, you didn't want to bury the hatchet with this person. They could have come towards you. Someone wanted to bury the hatchet. Someone's crying a river. That could be, once again, these two feminine energies going crazy. I don't know. It's like this masculine goes back and forth between all these crazy ass feminines. And believe me, they are crazy. The problem is, is you weren't crazy and you saw through something. That's why you keep escaping it. It's because you listen to your intuition and your ancestors, your spirit team, whatever. They were giving you messages in your dreams and you fucking listened to that shit. And that's what saved your life. Yeah, they thought they had an ace in the hole. They thought they had an ace up their sleeve. Um, they, they could come back towards you, bury the hatchet, and they would get a second chance with you. Um, they could come back in, and, you know, if they hit you financially, then you would be forced to go back with them. Then they would have another opportunity to take you out. I'm curious. I would love to know who the hell paid this person to come towards you and do this. Because if the Divine Femur Masculine here that was targeted to be unalived, they were not supposed to be alive today. Like something was supposed to happen like last night. The burning question. Um, and the Ace up their, their sleeve. They thought that they were going to get a, an Ace of Pentacles. Fire sign, Airy, Leo, Sag could be significant in this situation here. I swear these readings keep getting longer and longer. Yeah, someone's definitely shady as fuck and karma's a bitch. Someone is definitely playing the field, a Taurus. This person wants you to feel like they're your long lost love or something. I don't know, someone's long lost love is a Taurus or they, they want you to believe that they are. They want to move full steam ahead. But uh, someone's a, a Capricorn and Aquarius. They're going to take their shot in their dark, in the dark with you or something. I don't know. They feel like someone's taking their shot in the dark with somebody here. <clears throat> That's because someone's determined to finish the job to do the work. So someone's determined they're going to take their shot in the dark. These thieves, the thickest thieves. But you read between the lines, you can read between the lines, you see that they're a thief. The blast from the past. This is someone that loved and lost, that you loved and lost, or that, you know, 
that you were involved with. Yeah, someone's going to lose their shit. A loose cannon. Someone's a loose cannon. You know this. Alright. Person, place, or thing. The letter V could be significant. That keeps coming out. L. Las Vegas could be significant. Someone could have went to Las Vegas and got married or something like that. K. O U Someone's definitely cloaking Another V G and U. So I have two V's, two U's, C, K, O, L, and G. Clogs could be significant, like clog shoes or like those slip on shoes, it's like the fur on them or something, those could be significant. All right, I hope this helps. Have a good day.